What's up, YouTube? Samurai back at it with another reaction video. Today we got Steve Vai, Teeth of the Hydra. I saw the picture in the sort of promotional video for this guitar. I, I mean, Steve Vai, you know, I'm sure if you're here, you know, he's got all these type crazy guitars that he gets custom made and they have all these different effects. He's got like a four arm guitar it's got one i don't even remember all of them but i'm not a i'm not a big steve Vai fan i actually don't know much of his stuff at all one song that i really enjoy of his is tender surrender i love that song and that's really the only one that i know off the top of my head that i really like um in the name of god or god god something there's the no, there's another one where he's got like an orchestra with him, and um, it's like for the love of God, for the love of God, I think that's the name of it. And um, that one's dope too. I don't like it as much as Tender Surrender, but other than that, I I've probably heard a couple of other, couple other of his songs, but I I've mostly seen him in like jams and stuff with like Joe Satriani and those guys that fit into that virtuoso realm that I'm not a huge fan of personally um to me it's not always very musical more so just the show of skills which is fine I mean I'm, you know nothing against them they're phenomenal guitarists but I've never heard much that really grabbed me in any sort of way but I, I can, can't can deny the musical virtuosity of these guys. And Steve Vai is right in there with, like, Guthrie Govan, that, you know, Ving V. I don't even know how to say his name. Ving V. Malmsteam. So, yeah, I'm not very familiar with him. I just know all the guitars that he's got. Well, not all of them, obviously, but I know he's got the crazy guitars. I know he's a virtuoso. And I know a couple of the songs, and I saw the promotional video for this guitar, so I know this is going to be crazy. Also, I saw not too long ago, I think he had like surgery or something on his hand, or I don't know. He was recovering, and he came up with this new technique, I think, after he recovered. Don't quote me on all this. I could be completely wrong. I'm just going off memory. But he basically made this, te this bending technique where he would bend with individual fingers and i forget exactly what he would do but like he would play like a chord or something and be able to bend individual notes or maybe a couple at a time with different fingers and if you're a guitar player you know how incredibly difficult it is to get that dexterity enabled in order to be able to bend uh, a string with maybe just one finger because usually when you bend a string you have the help of other fingers right I usually use three I'll bend with my my ring finger but then my index and my middle finger are helping to push that the string up so in order to be able to do that with just one finger is incredible and it was this very like dissonant sort of sound which was cool. But anyways, let me stop talking. Let's get right into uh, this new song, music video, Teeth of the Hydra. Some song playing in the back. It looks like a monster. It looks like a beast. I would be scared to play that damn thing. Oh, this is dope. Oh, okay, he's got a bass at the bottom, it looks like. Wow, let me just, 
I, I so it's been a while since that video came out and I only watched it the first time so I haven't seen his guitar since then but this is super dope here he's got a bass four string bass at the bottom the bottom two strings are fretless and then the top two strings have frets that's dope as hell and then it looks like he's got some precision tuners there at the bridge he's got a six string seven string uh i can't actually t i think that's the seven string i think it's yeah seven is there three more down here i don't know i guess we'll see. yeah looks like it and then a 12 string at the top is that fretless too oh damn dude but this is a machine like this is a real machine my camera ran out of space so i had to delete some stuff but we're back now so let's get it ah. so the first uh what is that it looks like eight frets first eight frets on the 12 string neck up at the top and then the rest is fretless super fucking cool man this is dope i completely forgot about that and then we got the headless or no headstock on the on the base there And he's got the heart thing right there at the, at the bottom. Wow. I'm not supposed to pause midway through a solo, but I just really like how he made that sound like 
sort of like an Indian instrument, maybe like a sitar or something along those lines. But then, and that's due to the the fact that he doesn't, it's fretless. So you get that kind of, uh, that very slidey sort of sound that a lot of those Eastern instruments have. But damn, all right, let me just, let me, I'm not going to talk right now. Let's just finish it off because I got a lot to say. really the only person that I know that would be able to pull off something like that and make it so musical so interesting and yeah dope man to even come up with the construction of something like that it's like what the hell do you want to do with this he's like everything I want to do everything so that was dope man I really like that guitar that's a really dope instrument damn there's so much attention to detail there i mean i love the the um, the fretted versus fretless on both the horizontally on the 12 string you got about eight or nine frets or so that are fretted and then the rest are fretless and then on the bass it's vertically so you got the top half which is the bottom strings fretless and then the bottom half which are the the top strings I know that sounds backwards if you're not a guitar or bass player, but that's the way it goes. Then those are fretted. F- phenomenal, man. The freaking, the tubes, the green tubes at the top, I think there was three of them, really adds to this alien-looking thing. And then the very industrial look of it all is just super dope. The the neon lights, where the, the pickups are and stuff, the freaking little harp there at the bottom. Every time he would strike that, it would just be this like nice, luscious little high-pitched sound. The tone of the three, I'm just going to say three instruments because that's really what it is. I mean, it's all coming out of the same body, but to me, those are three different instruments because you can play them three way differently. So really love the tone of all three of them. The... The... Um, 12 string guitar was very shimmery had that 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 real resonant sound that we all love from 12 string guitars sounded great the fretless part amazing really made it sound like like a sitar or something along those lines the bass also cut through the mix very well i love the balance of it all and uh the the main guitar the I actually forgot to look if it was a six or seven string, but I think it was a seven. Either way, phenomenal tone there as well. And then just the comp- the arrangement of all of this is just incredible. I mean, he's doing, he's playing all four of these things simultaneously. Kind of um, keeping the harmony with the 12 string and the bass, obviously, with along with the rhythm. Adding these embellishments with the with the harp there at the bottom and then playing the lead with the the main middle guitar this is the only dude in the world i know would be able to pull this off or ask for an instrument like this and it's fucking dope man i wonder how much that thing cost him or how much it would cost if he was to sell it 
but I nobody else would be able to play that thing like him. So damn man, I I really want to check out more Steve Vai because I I've only really scratched the surface. Like I said, I don't know much at all. So I really would like to check him out. And a lot of these other virtuosos that I just never really found a connection with, and maybe it's just I'm not listening to the right stuff. You know, Joe Satriani, um, Petrucci. I think that's Dream Theater, right? Um, Guthrie Govan, I've heard a couple of his stuff. Uh, Ying Vi, Ying Vi, Malmsteen, I don't know how to say that name. You know, all these virtuosos, I've just never really found the connection. But I can't deny their greatness. I mean, they're some of the best players I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, this was no, no short, it was not short of that at all. So let me know what what other Steve Vai songs I should check out. Like I said, I really like Tender Surrender. I love the smooth R and B ish feel of the the main harmony, and then I mean the the, the solos are just come on. So if the if he has other stuff like that, I think that would be a good place to start. You know, uh, like I said, I did list. I've heard For the Love of God. I think that's the name of the song. And what other guitarists and their songs that I should hear? I'm familiar with most of them, but I just, again, never found enjoyment in it. So let me know. And let me know what you guys think of this Hydra guitar. And if, if it was for sale, would you buy it? I'd be interested to see somebody else trying to, to give it a shot. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Samurai with another reaction. Arigato and sayonara.